Greetings, I'm Isaac Stiller. Uh, I work for the Department of Natural Resources, Mines and Energy, and I'm here to give you a crash course on what a cause site is. Cause site stands for Continuously Observing Reference Station, basically just a, a high-tech GPS site that runs 24-7. Um, so over my shoulder you can see there's a GPS antenna with a concrete pillar on a pretty sturdy foundation that goes down to bedrock. And the idea is that there is no movement whatsoever in that uh, setup, on that, on that pillar, and the only movement that would be detected is movement which is uh, coming from our tectonic plate all right, and crustal deformation. So that's the main purpose of this core site. There are about 25 across Queensland, over 100 in the country, and these all uh, send data back to Geoscience Australia and they look at how our tectonic plate is moving, which way we're moving, how fast, even up and down, uh, and that's basically just part of scientific research, climate change research. Now, the other purpose of these core sites is also to modernise our geodetic datum. Okay, so what you're going to have here is all these sites here measuring GPS positions, and that is what our datum will come from now, uh, is GPS sites rather than the traditional ground mark sites. Now, for a GPS site, there's a few things we want, really. One is open, clear sky. No obstructions whatsoever, and if you have a look around, I'm pretty sure we've got a pretty good site here for that. Um, and the other thing you want is you want some good sturdy ground, good geology. Now I can tell you it was pretty fun digging around in here. This site's a, a gravel reserve for TMR and basically we've just taken a section of it and uh, we've made that now a reserve for scientific purposes. Okay, So um, not a lot of problems tracking satellites out here. Um, pretty open clear sky and, and sturdy ground. So there's really not a lot, not a lot to it, not rocket science. All right, so I'll show you a little bit about the antenna. High-end antenna, a little bit better than the usual one you'll find in your mobile handheld devices. All right, it's a choke ring antenna, uh, and basically this is probably one of the best antennas you can get at the moment. Uh, so it'll track as many satellites as, as are up in the sky at the moment, uh, and also try uh, to mitigate any multipath that can be, uh, not that we're going to have a lot of multipath on this site, but you never know. Now, uh, this site here, we do have an enclosure just over my shoulder there behind the vehicle. That enclosure, a uh, little green box inside that fenced off area, is where we house all our comms equipment, power, big set of batteries. There's also some solar panels up there and a weather station. So basically we're running off solar, obviously we're not going to get mains power here, uh, but we're lucky enough to have 4G reception, uh, so we've got good comms. There's a comms antenna up there, and basically these sites are, are designed to be remotely monitored. Uh, so all this information is being fed back in real time to Geoscience Australia. And uh, inside the box, look, it's not, it's not that exciting. You've just got a GPS receiver, you've got some other, you've got a modem, you've got some batteries, you know, all those sorts of things. So it's not... It's not super. It's not super critical to have a look at all that. But basically, the weather station is also providing weather information, which goes with the, the position information from that pillar, and it gets sent to Geoscience Australia for climate change uh, research. Okay. Uh, look, there's not there's not too much here uh, else else on the site really. There's a few uh, deep driven marks. Don't know whether you can see, but basically over my shoulder there is a. Uh, a few rocks that have been painted white and there inside that little ring of rocks is a stainless steel rod that's been driven down to refusal that was also pretty fun let me tell you um, and what we do here is we do some local monitoring of the site to see if there's any local movement in the soil but uh, pretty sure pretty sure this soil here is not really moving too much it's pretty sturdy underneath so look that's a core site in a nutshell um, there's really not much else to it but uh, if you want more information on what they are you can contact the department uh, the geodetic section of the department or you can go to Geoscience Australia which is probably the best option and they'll give you all the information you need. Thank you.